Yes, I'm going to try my very best to not get copywritten on Mafia 3. So, when I upload these videos, guys, first thing I... I do it in a playlist. Like, I check the playlist and see, okay, what's going to happen? And if they give me, like, a little yellow thing, that means, hey, I got copywritten. Uh, so, I... So, like this. So, literally, like this is how you can get copywritten. And there's nothing I can do to control that bes besides skipping the scene and going from there. It's literally, they play music every single time. So, it's just like, what? well, what do I do here? I can't... This is where Mafia 3 ne did a really crappy job. They did a really crappy job right here because I can't mute this for copyright reasons. So the only way thing I can do is skip. But I, I guess I'm going to have to continue. New Bordeaux. A modern city with traditional southern values. I underestimated how far he was going to go. What he was willing to do. Visit the historic French ward and enjoy local cuisine at one of our five-star restaurants. Killing them wasn't enough. Lincoln Clay was using them to send a message. Or spend the afternoon in the bayou and take in its natural splendor. Sal Marcano had no idea what he was going to unleash. New Bordeaux. Safe, family-oriented farm. Make it your next vacation destination. This city survived the War of 1812. I like this song, though. War, and oh, God no. knows how many hurricanes. But when Lincoln Clay went after the mob, he inflicted more damage than all the wars and hurricanes combined. There he is. I, lo I love the intro to this game. Lincoln's mother abandoned him in 1947, a couple of years after he was born. His mother, I heard she was Dominican. I always figured his father was white, maybe even not Italian. Not that it matter. So real quick, a lot of you guys will probably say, oh, the father is Joe from Mafia 2, because when I first played this game, Everyone was saying, oh, he's Joe's, Joe is Lincoln's dad, maybe, but I would love to see a Mafia 4, so we'll see. Again, if you look black, you black. Same as today, I suppose. He stayed at the orphanage until 1958. Well, when did you meet Lincoln Clay? 1966. I was running black ops out of Laos on behalf of the CIA. He was loaned out to me via joint CIA DOD task force. He's a quiet boy. Good boy. Been a long time since I played this. Purple Hearts, the Bronze Star, and the Distinguished Service Cross. He served his country with honor and distinction. After the city closed the orphanage, he fell in with Sammy Robinson. Sammy ran the black mob over in Delray Hollow. I can't say I approve, but often colored boys didn't have a lot of options back then. Boys like Lincoln, the ones who've been abandoned, they're always looking for a home, always looking for a place to belong. I think he thought. Yo, he everyone joining the chat, how are you guys doing? Welcome. That's lost. You never get it back again. When he returned from the war, Lincoln ended back up over at Sammy's. Now Sammy owed the Italian mob a whole lot of money, and he needed Lincoln's help. It's a damn shame what happened. It breaks my heart.
Oh shit, so something's gonna happen to them? But everyone chat, what's up guys? How you guys doing today? Still say this is a crazy Thank you for tuning in. Use real money to rob the feds. Well, hell, man, not like this is our cash. This all came from Skeletta. Besides, peanuts compared to what we're gonna haul out of there. Is everything we need to burn? Yeah, that's it. I grabbed the keys to the truck, then we can get the fuck out of here. All right, guys, so two quick things real keys. quick. Number one that I'm gonna have to tell you guys is you guys will be following the subtitles due to me trying to put this on YouTube as well it one thing is so if we go to the game so here let me try we go to options excuse me I think it's no it's not under controls it's under audio got to go to view settings so no yeah, I have that down, and then Master Volume, I ha I think that's the game. So, I am going to turn this off for right now. So, let me see if you guys can hear it. So, like, what happens if I open... So, like, what happens if I open the door? Okay, so you guys can't hear anything. As well cannot. Um... Okay, there's the keys. I'm just gonna get going. Okay. Let's actually do this. Oop, wrong, wrong thing. For now, at least. Nope, wrong. There we go. Take it easy heading to town. We don't need the cops crawling up our asses. Ah, oh, that poor fuck back there. He ain't got no idea what he's in for. What was his cut? Five percent? They're about, not like he'll be able to spend it. Said to be watching his every move for the rest of his life. <laughs> Probably be better we just whacked him. If I learned anything in Nam, always a good idea to dangle someone out there. Use them to get everybody's attention, and you just slip away. So answer me this. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? You don't want to know. Hell, man, I'm a taxpayer. I got the right to know how my money's being spent. Oh, Georgie Marcano pays taxes. I kept him alive because you'll... That's how they got Al Capone, and I ain't going to prison for no... I don't know why. See what? Georgie wanted him dead. Yeah. But it's just like... Nah. Mr. Quang Nye. Evacuating the civvies for Charlie overran everything. Anyway, we get him onto a medical ship. And this woman walks up. She got a baby in one hand and the leash to a pig in the other. She starts up the ramp, and the MP stops her and tells her, You can only bring one thing on board. So she tosses the baby into the water. What the fuck? MP goes ape. Tells someone dive in after the kid, starts screaming at the woman, wants to know what the fuck she's thinking. Exactly. She says, she says I can always have another baby. Jesus. Fucking Christ. Hey man, you ass. Okay. Kavan. But literally, how stupid is this woman? <laughs> yeah, but I thought you were gonna tell me a story about some gook getting his dick blown off or something. I mean, god damn. It's not a fault. It's not like you think. Conditions over there, man. Jesus Christ. One day you're raising cattle, tending your rice. Next day, everything bombed flat. You put people up against the wall. 
They will do anything to survive. That better been one delicious fucking pig. Dodge at the reserve probably won't be too keen on you waltzing around with that piece of yours. I'll just leave it under the seat. Time to see if these forged IDs are worth a fuck. Back it up to the loading dock. All right. Some of these fellas might get a little uh, rough with the language and... Well, I ain't like I've never been called nigger before. Nah, I know, but I'm just saying, if I go along with it, ain't nothing poison. The only thing I care about is getting our hands on that money. Good way to look at it. When I say something about being hot, that's when we make our move. All right. Do it. I got you, Georgie. Now, here we go. Let's go. Put your IDs up the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative action. You know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Damn. Hey, money's money, man. I'd love to have this money. Appreciate it. You need to check that scatter gun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Buying rooms down in the cellar. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all's over in Georgia ah, for a while. He just got out the service. Yeah. My cousin's been trying to get on here for a year. What the hell is going on in there? I I I don't even want to guess. Guess there's a lot of craziness happening on uh in that room. Is this door gonna open? Thank you. You bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. That Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, then it gets sent to Dallas, and it comes back. It doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. All right, here's the burn room. Here we are. Never done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. I guess the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. All right, give me a second. All right. Let's just put him in a. All right, you take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting it right. <laughs> I just put him basically in the same spot, but I just didn't want to draw attention. You 
Right. to be out in two weeks. And the man, his name's uh, John, starts laying into me, saying the lease gives them the right to a 30-day notice. That's how he's supposed to find a new place in two weeks. So I tell him none of that's my goddamn problem. It's my property, and I'll do with it what I please. Okay. If he brings up that fucking lease again, I'll use it to wipe my ass and make him eat it. Not only that, I know he's friends with a couple of niggas, and they... Fuck you. Okay. Um. I keep going, trying to pause the game. Nope. Vito. Second time he's mentioned, so Vito is in this game already new. Damn, I feel like I'm in a GTA heist. Yeah, we're gonna pull it off, but you're a fucking idiot because you set off the alarm. Ooh, okay. Excuse me. Where'd he go? Yep, see you. Yeah, that that was e honestly easy. All right, you can set aim assist to low and high, or turn it off. Actually, I like having aim assist on. It kind of helps. I wonder what it would look like if it was just turned off. Like how difficult this game would be. Yeah, Georgie, you can't do it, bro. I got this. All right. Well, Sammy had men all over the place. And one of them worked at a cleaner's and stole the uniforms Georgie Marcano and Lincoln Clay wore on the day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. 
That guy's a cop, by the way, guys. So this is a flashback. Lincoln just, just returns. Vietnam? That's right. Or, or, or you can ruin the story for me. The Pacific. You take it from me. Just because you're home doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't. They don't get it. Never will. Keep your ass out of trouble. Sorry I'm late. Got caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for my stepbrother, Lincoln Clare. You seen him? He used to get ticked off if you were even a minute late. Kiss my ass. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> how was the trip? Being how this is the first time in four years, and somebody telling me where to go, what to do, or how to do it, it was fucking great. <laughs> mm. What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on Pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. <laughs> Just like I left her. Man, even I know not to fuck around with your car. Mm. Alright, come on. He just launches the beer. <laughs> like, okay. Mm. <laughs> like, yay! <laughs> Alice is just like, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep mine. Lincoln's like, I'm done already. Okay. We're already. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize for this. Actually, hold on. I'll do this for now, but once I'm I'm bad at this. About me telling you that. I won't. But he fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he So basically Sammy would look at the TV when Lincoln was in the war and see if Lincoln's name was on there. And that list is like for all the people that that have passed. I think? I think that's right? You remember Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They okay. See, he, here's the thing that I don't understand, guys. He mentions Marty. Now, if you guys know Marty, and you guys have played Mafia 2, by the way, I will be streaming that, so, like, sometime in 2021. Um, Marty was basically the car driver. He was Joe's assistant. Joe brought him in, and you guys know what happens to Marty. So, it's interesting. Interesting, because we never get a description on Marty's last name in Mafia 2. But the Empire Bay part of it makes sense. And ask me if I want some. I say show. Free money as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, a month back, Marty drops me a line that says they're moving into hell and that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody. But this, I gotta talk to him about. I ain't said more than three words, and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Egg up our asses, and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around aside, that was pretty serious shit. Knew a couple guys over at Nam who were running it. 
wound up pissing off the wrong person. Got their throats cut. Shit, man, I know what's what. That's why I'm talking to Georgie about it. There's no way Sal's gonna go along with that. Georgie says he'd keep his old man from fighting out. We'll still clear the high low in Frisco, just selling the French wall. George's Uncle Lou won't say shit as long as we give him a taste of the action. Hey, man, be careful. He got in my way. Anyway, I don't know, man. George is a cool cat and all, but heroin ain't the kiddie pool. Come in on it with us. I bet he'd agree to a three-way split. <sighs> I don't know. I kind of need to lay low a bit, figure some things out. Yeah, all right. Alright guys, this is the part of the game where I'm going to have to mute the game volume due to the fact it's going to play a song. So, I apologize in advance. I'm, I'm trying my best guys to stream this as best as possible without just getting the copyright infringement, which I don't want. But here we go. I don't know that last part. I don't know if that's... Fr it seems like it's French. Father James? Okay, I can't, like, turn the volume on for this, but okay. Oh, dude, I can't imagine what people, it like, in the war go through.
Alrighty. Go talk to Sammy and Ellis. Alright. Am I going the right way? We barely have two nickels to rub together. Now we're paying for all that food. Jesus Christ. Watch that mouth of yours. We wouldn't be in this mess if you were to listen to me. What mess? Not something you need to worry about, Lincoln. I got it under control. Under control? God damn it, you need to. Boy, open I'm your not eyes. wanting you again. Have it your way, old man. Let him be. He needs to cool off. You mind telling me what's got him so riled up? We've been having uh, problems with the Haitians. Like I say, I got it under control. Well, trucks all loaded up. I he does not have it under control. Should I, should I come back? In honor of your returning to us safe and sound, I made a donation to Father James here. Supplied him with food he can hand out to some of our needier family. I was hoping you'd lend me a hand, Lincoln, and give you a chance to see the neighborhood. This thing with the Haitians, how serious is it? Ah, you know it is. Someone looks at him the wrong way, he's on them like a wet dog. Like I said, I can uh, come back. Nonsense. Lincoln needs to get out. Enjoy the day. Besides, be good for the two of you to spend some time together. Mm. Gone. Those people waiting on their food. Oh, I saw Lincoln a couple times once he was first back. <laughs> he told me. Dude, look at how many years he's been a priest. Holy shit. Wait, 58 to 2002. Damn, that's a long time. I I'm not going to do the math on that. You guys can figure that out. I, I don't have time for that. I'm going to say this is a long time. He had a friend in the service who could get him a job working at the Mare Island shipyard. And the only reason he came back was to tell Sammy and Ellis goodbye. But then he found out about the trouble Sammy was having with those Haitians. So he decided to stay in hell. Almost 40 years as a priest. I'll just do that, whatever. No talking Lankin out of it. Whatever else he might have become, Lincoln was always loyal. I wonder how old Father James is, like, during this kind of, like, recording or session. Like, right there. Well, then most likely. Three month apprenticeship to start, then the union lets you in. You tell Sammy and Ellis? Not yet. I'm gonna wait a few days. Didn't want to spring it on them since I just got back. Well, they won't like the head button. They'll come around. You need to do what's best for you. Go ahead and start serving those folks. I'll be back. Give Sammy my best, Lincoln. Yes, sir. What kind of soup is this? Looks like minestrone. Warm meal, warm heart. Oh, sure. Thanks. You're welcome. Hello. You delivering a real blessing here, Lincoln. Thank you. Blessings mine, ma'am. Couple of days back and they already got you working? Ah, I'm happy to do it. Means a hell of a lot to all of us. Don't get old, son. It's a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I can do about that. <laughs> she just looks crabby and she's like, How are you, Regine? I'm good. Nice to see you around the holler again. Nice to see those big brown eyes again. Well, they'll be over at my aunt's place with the rest of me. You should stop by. Maybe I'll do that. Lincoln, we got trouble! Run, Regine! Once we're done with you, Lincoln! 
Yep, I'm ahead by you. And I'm just gonna air punch the wall. Lincoln's just headbutting everyone, pretty much. Have no idea what this means. Francois Papa Doc Duvalier was elected president of Haiti in 1957. By 1959, he had created a secret police called Tonton Makut, and people started to flee. Uh, most of them settled in the southern United States. Now, mixed in with the good, hard-working people were hardened criminals. You know, they formed the backbone of what became the Haitian gang. Now, Lincoln found out they set up in the swamps and were led by a man named Baca. Uh, you and Father James done already? You got jumped by the Haitians. It's time you level with me. Tell me what's really going on. Yes. I suppose it is. Six, sir. Seven months ago, folks in the hollow started getting robbed. Money, jewelry, things of that nature. Didn't take long for us to figure out it was the Haitians. Then those batas on the law started going after the lottery. How much money are we talking about? How much? Enough that we're in deep shit with Sal Marcano. Haven't kicked up to him in three months. Shit. Christ. If I deal with them, that gives us time to settle up with Marcano, right? Let me worry about Sal. He and I go way back. But this thing with the Haitians... It's time for it to end. You and Ellis need to handle it. How are we gonna find them? Back in the 20s... Folks used to pull salt out of the bayou. They even built themselves a little shanty town. When the depression hit, they abandoned it. That's the only place this could have come from. We're gonna need guns and ammo. Call this number. But do it away from here. No sense tipping anybody off. Or... We could sweep the hollow, track down and kill every last one of those cocksuckers, then we wouldn't have to worry about it. The last thing folks in this neighborhood need to see is colored people killing each other. Do this quiet. Away from here. Once we eliminate whoever's running the show, the rest of them will go down on their own. Trust me. All right, soldier boy. I'll follow your lead. Be careful, here. Yeah? Those Haitians are a hard people. Do not ever underestimate them. C'est lié que c'est diverse c'est suscite hostilité. Show this is how you want to play this. Last thing they're gonna expect is an attack from the water. You head back round to the road. Stay with the car. I'll meet you over there when this is done. Hope you know what you're doing. Trust me, Ellis. Here in a bit, this will all be behind us. I know what I'm doing, Ellis. I got this. I got this, man. I don't know what. Okay, there we go. I'm like, why am I just floating, not swimming? To that old man is dead. Him, Ellis, and the other one. Lincoln Clay. Yep, that's me. This time you won't get away from us. Oh, I will, dude. You won't, but I will. Trust me. 
Watch out! <laughs> Lincoln just punches him in the face! Huh? It, it didn't even look like a like a punch. It just looked like he tapped him in the face. Papa Legba, open the gate for me. What? Oh shit! Oh! Oh my god, that's, that scared me a little bit. Woo! Should have killed that old man a long time ago. Think the boss will do. Marcano, ask him to come down on us. I heard something I don't like. You know what? I didn't feel like whistling. I feel like I feel like making an entrance a little bit. Alrighty. See you later. I'm the only person that needs to be here. You got an army. I I, I just got myself here. Where's I was about to say, where's the gun? Boom. No, here's the funny thing. I'm just gonna rush in. First I kill you, then I kill that useless old man. Shit! I know that motherfucker. Let's go right at Baka. Fuck you! You made a big mistake going after the hollow. Come on! That's why the man you're talking about took me in when I had nowhere else to go. You are no better than you. What's up, Foam? Hey, there you go. You can't take those shows! What the you hell? Fucking pig! Damn you to her! Take it easy! Take it easy! Take it easy! He kept me in there, locked in there, day and night. Beat me, use me! I can't, you motherfucker! You and your entire goddamn family! He's dead! He's the dead. He My god, she's crazy! It hurts you anymore. It's over. Over. <laughs> this is 
never going to be over. Pajam! Okay, Cassandra. Fucking Haitians. Alrighty then. But Fum, how you doing, bro? Hope you had a good Christmas. Good New Year. Oh, you know what? I'm here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open this store. Actually, no, I'm not. But I have an idea. Okay. Now they want to start throwing mo Molotovs. Excuse me. Jeez. So I'm just gonna throw mine. Go back in here. Grab two more. I'm gonna throw one left. I'm gonna throw one right. Yeah, you're done. I'm gonna grab health pack. Oh, there was another one in there. Oh, what the hell? But, but, uh, thumb, I'm. I mean, if you're happy, man. That's good. Like seeing my fans in a good mood, man. Oh, hell no. Alright, let's grab the shotgun here. I didn't even see that until like the very end. So like, as soon as I was crossing the bridge, I saw it. Oh! No, no, no! Heal, heal, heal! I, oh man, don't be Jack Two again. <laughs> Let's not make Mafia Free Jack Two. Oh man, Jack Two had some just not so happy moments in the game. Just not fun, not good moments. A lot of raging in there. <laughs> I don't know why I only have one. I wish there was a back door that, like, I could just go in here. But there's nothing. Don't want to waste all my ammo. Yeah, just line up, idiots. I'm gonna just kind of clear a path here. Shit. 
shit. Oh, you fought with the wrong brother. I see him. Watch out. Yeah, one's got a machine gun, the other one's got a shotgun. Lincoln looks like There we go. He literally looked like a demon. He Okay. Oh! No, no, no. Why? Okay. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not in his shoes. But I just said, I was going to say, why did he just continuously stop sh shooting? I have no idea why. He literally just sh came in the room, shot, took cover. I'm not even in cover. You had me. Get him! I'm dead. Thank you, Ellis. Okay, that's, that's him. Get in the car, get in the car, get in the car, get in the car. Always gotta get you out of trouble, don't I? You old? I am. How to go with Baka? We came to an understanding. We stay dead, not let him. Let's get back to Sammy's. Can't even tell you how happy Pops is gonna be. Okay. Man, this shit with the Haitians has been weighing on him. With them out of the way, things will calm down. Go back to how they should be. I've been telling him for months we needed to do something like this, but Pops, he... I don't know. Sometimes I think he's lost the taste for this shit. Just because a man don't rush to violence don't mean he lost something. I know, this makes me wonder what happens after you know no i don't know explain it to me it don't matter if it's a bullet or the hand of god we all go sometime right i suppose but ellis we don't need to talk but i pray that pops that outlives the both of us but if he doesn't every motherfucker in the hollow is going to be looking to us a gunning for us just saying we got to be ready when that day comes yeah well that's not something we got to worry about right now so just cool it with your grand plans all right yeah all right Well, something's gonna happen to Sammy because the fact that he owes Sal Marcano money and he's three months short. So this isn't going to be good at all. Bang Lankin didn't understand, or maybe want to understand, is that for a man like Sammy, there's always gonna be more Haitians. Now, if there wasn't someone going after Sammy, then there was someone else forcing him into a bad situation. It was never going in. That's how Mankin ended up working for Sal Marcano. You were right about those Haitians being down by that old salt mine. They won't be bothering us again. It was a mistake sending you down there. I should handle my own business. This isn't any different than what I was doing before I left. You probably don't know this. But every night on the TV, right after the news, to show the names of all the boys killed over there and Okay, so I was right. I'd be sitting in the kitchen eating my supper, watching that list scroll by, wondering if today is the day. I finally see your name. But you never did. Nothing happened to me. There's only so much luck down the web. Sooner or later, pull up that bucket, there's nothing in it. So, what are we going to do about Marcano? 
Damn his goddamn money one way or the other. Lottery gonna be enough to cover it? The lottery? <laughs> no. But Sal called a bit ago. Wants you to meet him up the country club. Says he's got something in the works. Square things up between us. The only black folk allowed in there to help. Now, they may not like it, but they're not gonna say no to Sal Marcano. He says you get to come in, you get to come in. Fine. Always did want to see the inside of that place. You need to do whatever Sal asks, yeah? For all our sakes. Yes, sir. All right, let's get it. Yeah, guys, usually I don't stream on... I don't stream on Saturdays or Sundays, but I just thought, hey, let's kick things off in 2021 with a Mafia 3 stream and go from there. No! Okay. Whoa! I don't know what this meeting's gonna be about, but I'm kind of nervous. See what's gonna go down at the meeting. One thing I'm starting to notice though is I can't see anything. Like, you guys see that? Like, okay, you can see my car, but watch. Watch as I kind of go off into the sun. Maybe you guys will see on later in the game. Like that, pretty much. What the fuck you doing up here? Help goes into the back. I'm, uh, I'm here to see Mr. Marcano. The name's Lincoln Clay. That a fact? I'll be goddamned. Mind your manners while you're in there, boy. Or there'll be hell to pay, you hear? Park over to the side. Oh, ho, ho! <laughs> Lincoln Clay! Christ, man, get a look at you! I bet those fucking gooks shit themselves when they saw you coming. Been a long time, Georgie. Oh, no shit has been a long time. I think the last time I saw you was that night over in the French Ward, right before you shipped out. <laughs> Damn it, that wasn't a gas. Oh, I seem to remember me and Ellis running from the cops, uh, and Danny ending up in the drunk tank. Hell, man, I bailed him out. So I just worth it to knock the hell out of them cracker assholes. <laughs> Smoke? Sure. <laughs> oh, man. Sammy said Mr. Marcano wanted to see me. Mr. Marcano? Shit. Make him sound like a goddamn lawyer. You just call him Sal. Come on, he's in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Did I miss something there with this lady? 
Oh, that's fucked up. Did anyone see what the lady, she, right there, she held her purse as she was walking, and then she saw Lincoln, and, like, immediately put it on the other side. That's fucked. Hey, these squares have a problem with Joe Trez. Take it up with my old man. He'll tell him to kiss his ass. <laughs> nice thing about having fuck you money. Olivia, I hate to cut this short, darling, but I've got a meeting coming up. Remy, a pleasure as always, sir. Two more glasses. That's his wife, I think. <laughs> Sal's, at least. Lincoln. Good to see you. This is Vito Scaletta. The man, the He's myth, the, the legend. Come on, Lincoln, sit down. I don't know if Vito had that scar in Mafia 2, though. You served in Vietnam, huh? Yes, sir. Sal tells me uh, you earned a few pieces of tin over there. Well, I served with some good men. Nothing I did would happen without them. Army? Marines? Regular army at first, and... Then I was recruited to the 5th SFG. Special Forces. I told you it was something else. Now, not that anything's gonna go wrong, but just in case, goddamn, don't you want a man like that on your side? Well, if you're vouching for him, Sal, that's good enough for me. <laughs> Look, I got a couple things to take care of. Thanks for the drink. Christ, that guy's an asshole. <laughs> Fucking carpetbagger. Commission sent him down here from Empire Bay about 15 years back. He's been a pain in my goddamn ass ever since. You're the problem, though, sir. What this is all about. Yeah, Sammy didn't tell me too much. Twice a year, the feds take old money out of circulation and destroy it. Over the course of the next few days, that money's gonna be delivered here to the reserve in town. And you're gonna hit one of those shipments? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. We are gonna use that occasion to gain access to their vault. And then steal everything that ain't nailed down. <laughs> Should be six, seven million in there? Easy. That's, that's pretty fucking ballsy. <laughs> it's a chance of a goddamn lifetime is what it is. Now, Vito's fronting a lot of the money for the job, and he got us the combination to the vault. Okay, so this is... So Vito was the one... That gave them the combination code. So this is them planning the robbery for the bank. Got it. Hey, you had a chance to see Danny? No, not yet. Oh, well, you will. We brought him and his old man in on this. And they're going to need your help, so go see them. Okay, so basically we're having a flashback to how the bank heist was set up. And they're still in that same place. There's something else we got to talk about. Now, it's safe to assume uh -oh. about the problem Sammy's been having. Music Box just went. Music went. Da -da 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 -da. Then it went like the Undertaker went. Doom! Doom! <laughs> Once things settle down, money will start coming in again. You see that right there? That's what I'm talking about. You didn't sit around with your thumb jammed in your ass. You saw a problem, you went out and took care of it. God damn, I take that over money any day of the week. We pay our own way, debts and all. Always have. Oh, hell, son, I know that. I wouldn't expect otherwise. But you know, even after we all evened up, you're still gonna be slopping around in the ass end of this city. Not much of a future in that. But maybe there's a different way forward, you understand? For all of us. What'd you have in mind? I want you to know I mean no disrespect when I say this. Sammy's a hell of a man, but he's not getting any younger. And I'm thinking it's time to make a change. Well, I don't think that Ellis is ready for that kind I'm of I'm not stuff. talking about Ellis. I'm talking about you. I want you to run the holler. <laughs> Wait, wh I can't do that. Yo, you see Georgie's face? He He's like, hmm. He knew, he knew. So it sounds to me like, hey, Lincoln, we want you to run the hollow so we can take basically everything. Well, look at here. If you're worried about... Sammy, look at Georgie's face! Now, he's always been on the level with me. And this job we're talking about, there's more than enough... He knew that he was going to say no. He took me in when I had nowhere else to go. He treated me like a son. I'm sorry, Mr. Marcano. I, I can't do that. Okay. I understand Lincoln being loyal, but if Sammy tells you to do something... See, I don't know. Like, in Lincoln's shoes, I don't know what you would do. I had no idea. I have no idea what I would do in this situation. 
But in Lincoln's shoes, you're just screwed. Like, okay, yeah, you're loyal, but... Damn. And this is the reverse psychology card right here. Watch. I'd be lying if I didn't say I wasn't just a little disappointed. But I get it. You're loyal. Which is something that is scarce these days. Do you still want me to help with this thing we've been talking about? <laughs> you goddamn right I do! <laughs> and when it's all done, you all be more square with me. You have my word. <laughs> what do you really want to hear? And that's where it goes wrong. To torture anyone suspected of working with the BC? I'm trying to ascertain the level of training that Lincoln Clay received during his time in Vietnam. Someone like that you don't need to train. You point them in the right direction and get the fuck out of their way. All right, guys, I am going to mute the mute, mute the game in a few minutes here, so just bear with me. All right, Intel view. Yeah, I'll need that right now. Oh, okay. Dude, that is not gonna work. What is that? Out there, Malice. What took you cats so long? Piece of shit drill kept overheating. You and Lincoln both still in one piece? Yeah, we good. Where's Danny? He's pushing everything off to the side so that we have room to catch the money. All right, well, once you squared away up here, we start dropping it down. We'll make it quick. Motherfuckers killed the lights. Just worry about the money. I'll deal with this. Got him. Suspects on the move. I am I've got the shot. He's got me stuck. Oh. <laughs> he like kicked him twice. No. Dude, he's got If I would have died there because he has a pistol, I would have been pissed. Come on. Come on. I know you're going to coming this way. Oh, no, nope. this way it is. All right. Come on. Alright, let's get to the vault. God damn it, those guards will cut us down the second we make a break for it. Tell Danny he needs to get us out of here. And these bastards got us pinned down. Y'all need to figure something out. I got some TNT. I'll put on our side of the hole and detonate it. What the fuck is that gonna accomplish? With any luck, it'll blow a hole big enough for y'all to drop down. With any luck, Danny, do you even know what the fuck you're doing? Come on, it's dynamite. How complicated could it be? It's lit. Get the fuck away from the hole.
Alright. Well, why would he blow up the TNT and not move? No one really knows why Sal Marcano turned on Thomas Burke, uh, but he took Point Verdun from him and gave it to an enforcer named Roman the Butcher Barbieri, who promptly busted up one of Burke's legs. Now, Danny Burke was part of the heist crew. I mean, he was a gearhead, had never done anything like this. He looks like he's in the Beatles or in a band. He figured if the heist was a success, Sal would forgive him and return Point Verdun. Penetrator, all right. <laughs> hey, now I heard there ain't nothing sweeter than Vietnamese pussy. You tell me it's true. <laughs> Casanova Clay. Shit, man, it's so fucking good to see you. You too, Danny. That's Nikki. God, she wanted to be here, but I ain't remember how old. God damn, you piece of shit. Yeah, unfortunately. Come on, let's grab a beer. Wait for the old man to chill out, and then we can get down to it. Yeah. What's up, man? You already got it all set up and organized. All the girls gonna be there and everything, except we just gotta go in my cars, because we can't roll up in that beat-up piece of shit outside. <laughs> oh, you didn't just call my all-American machine a beat -up. I'm just saying, there better rides out there. Hey, bullshit there are. This car's a beast. I dropped the custom 358 and a four shift out. That ain't the only thing you dropped in her. Maybe you should tell them about how you'd borrow it from Ellis and take the ladies for a ride. <laughs> Hell, man, leave me out of this. Did you fuck in my car? Mm -hmm. Nah, it ain't no big deal. I was always wrapped up tight. <laughs> Besides, I already got one fucking bastard in my life. I don't need another one. All right, you know what? You're going to clean it. Not just the back oh. seat. Every square inch. <laughs> I don't need to be riding around sitting in your shit. Ellis, you're not here. I'll talk. Hey, man, you going to fucking help. Like hell I am, shit, I didn't get any. Yeah, well, it was just new. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you fucking jokers got about as much chance of pulling this off as I do at winning a goddamn decathlon. Oh, all right, that we hear you. <laughs> Danny and Ellis, you're gonna use the drills to cut a hole up through the bottom of the vault. You and Georgie, you'll be inside. You're gonna drop the money down, then get the hell out of there. That goddamn drill ain't easy to move, though. So we need a boat, to get it through the canals and into position. Well, Ellis and I worry about the boat. See, George's old man flipped the guard at the reserve, giving you his truck. <laughs> <laughs> Between that and the uniforms, and no one gonna give us a second look. <laughs> Come on, let's get moving. Still gotta swing by Skeletters, finish up some prep work. Hey, and you two assholes, don't think this gets you off the hook when it comes to my car. Y'all best get ready to clean it. I ain't cleaning shit. Hey, you cleaning it. My father was a lot of things, few of them good. But he started out smuggling moonshine. Okay, this is the older Nikki. The city, and that one of them went right under the Federal Reserve. It was his idea to use a boat to move the drill into position. He was a real son of a bitch, my father. More than anyone else, I blame him for what happened. You want to stick your own neck out, fine, but leave your son out of it. It's his fault Danny died. Is everyone in? We need to go. We're all here. Go. Holy! Guys, coming down through the hall. Fuck, more guys. We need to get the fuck out of here. <gasps> Motherfuckers! Cops are cutting off our escape route! We'll find another way out of here. This tunnel has to go somewhere. Alright guys, so for the purposes of... I mean, you guys already know the drill. So I'm not gonna have to explain it every single time, but... All right, I'm gonna have to go left. Um, I'm gonna go right about. Oh crap! I'm gonna go now. Should be all right. 
think it's just a straight get away from here. Oh! No, it's not! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I cannot believe the boat just flipped. Oh, man. Are you kidding? All right, I'm gonna have to turn right about trying to turn here. Now let's hope it's a just straight getaway from here. Oh, I may all right. Oh, just get in the middle. All right, should be good. Why does it look like Danny got shot in the lake? insist that you apologize 
Y'all keep an eye out. We're in some deep shit and need your help. Where are you? Just off the parade route. Danny's hurt. I can't get a car to you because the roads are closed off. Listen, there's a grocery store on the back side of the cemetery. Why does Lincoln have you blood all out. over him? Yeah. There'll be a car waiting at the loading house. He looks like he just got a... And Lincoln, be careful, yeah? He you shit kicked out of him. Jeez. Sammy's having a car delivered. It'll be at the loading dock at the grocery store. God bless the old man. Let's go. Alright, we're gonna go for the deep dive bar and lounge. Cut through the bar, Lincoln. Cut, suck, cut. Don't tell me the party's over. I'll tell you when the goddamn party's over. An untold number of federal officers were killed today when two gunmen robbed the Federal Reserve. Fuck, you hear that? We made the news. Shut the fuck up, Georgie. We need to keep moving. Yeah, for real, Georgie. Shut the fuck up. The last fucking time, you need to tell me what you did with the place. Done told you. Oh, yeah, I didn't take shit for that. Thank you, man. Thank you. Ward, all units respond. Suspects are a Negro male, approximately six foot four, a white male, approximately five foot eleven, and two unknown accomplices. They are armed we and extremely dangerous. Move. Fuck, they found the boat. Stay cool, man. We're still good. That's not what she's saying. Yeah, well, you're good for cool. now. <laughs> My friend here can't handle his booze. I should have had so much to drink. <laughs> You're not fucking mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh, shit. <clears throat> what the fuck are we gonna do? Ellis. Fucking pigs are everywhere. Ellis, chill out. Everything's gonna be fine. You guys, take Danny oh. and the money. Get to the car. I'll deal with the cops. I'll no. warn them off you. Hey, no fucking way, man. It's all right. He ain't going alone. We all got a friend. Jesus. Amen. All right. Let's go. I don't know why he would do that, because I think they would have been fine, but they were pinned, but I feel like there was other ways they could have gone here. Now if I go this way... Just gonna cut through here. Some of the restaurants are fine down here. If you're a tourist. I suppose. I'm checking over there. All units be advised. Suspect located. On scene units engaging. Officer request assistance. All units. Got the shot. Well, I'm out. See you. Where's Georgie? Before we lost sight of him, he said he'd meet us back at the house. Get in! All units. Suspect has...
Alright, I'm just going to go straight here. Turn right. Oh, continue going straight. Hopefully this car doesn't catch up to me. And we lose them. Alright, where are we going now? Okay, I'll have to... What's happening here? Yeah! <laughs> And oh god Sammy knows something's going to go wrong right here. Oh shit. Oh shit. There goes Alice. Where's Danny? I even see Danny. Okay, so I think it's a flashback right here. Yeah, that's that. Why didn't they show that picture? Like, where's that from? Must have been Lincoln, like, on his way back. Maybe before. He went to Vietnam? I, I have no idea. I just assume it's before.
<laughs> right. <laughs> thank, thank you, John. I like how John Donovan just gets straight to the chase. Yep, I did. <laughs> yep. So, I'm trying to. So, history is happening as Lincoln is basically healing from the fire. I don't know if he's got a concussion. Trying to see what's happening. Think that is maybe one of the Kennedys. And there's Sal right there. There is no going back. Father James is right. I think Father James looks at Lincoln like a son, and there's just nothing he can do to stop Lincoln. I mean, Lincoln is full of rage. He wants to go and take everything and watch self, excuse me, Sal Marcano fail. All right, so we're going to turn the game volume back on. Oops, options. Cause right there, that that was a. Uh... Okay, really. We're already playing music. Seriously. Okay, let me see if the, if it's still happening right now. Yep. Like, can I can I get a win here? Like, where they just don't play music?
I don't know why they decide, like, during this whole scene with John Donovan, that, hey, we're just going to play music. It's like, oh, great. Now I have to basically turn that off, turn the game dialogue off, and go from there. So basically, guys, I'm going to explain this the best I can. So let me go to the map. So you guys can see, here's the map. Here's downtown. Here's the French Ward. Here's... The mills, Frisco Fields, the harbor, South Downs, this is the bayou. So basically what Lincoln's plan is, is to take every single district in the game and watch sale, excuse me, sale just fell. Sale Marcano. I keep saying like... Sale like Chris Sale, and I keep. <laughs> I'm trying to say, Sale. Sale, excuse me. Bro, I swear, if we're playing music already, I, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, we're not good. Is it the end of that? We done? He took the car, what the hell? What the hell? Oh, Lincoln's having flashbacks. Oh, this went... This went pitch black. Welcome home, son. Oh, dude, the Undertaker's really entering. So it's coming back to him. Where's where was Danny? Oh, Georgie had him. Georgie basically shot him. Didn't even look like he did anything though. Just looked like Danny was in the fire. I'm not even kidding you, if this wasn't a video game, Lincoln would probably be dead. They would know he has stuff there. I still say this is a bad idea. But the boy's dying over there in Vietnam. There's something I gotta do. Uh, I ever tell you how I got this? Sure, you stole it. That idea. Yeah. Yeah. The pocket of this old white man used to come around here raising here. Take this week. There's always probably good luck. I know you think you're alone in this world, you go, go, but you're not. And you never will be. Oh, Lincoln shaved, shaved the head, shaved the beard. All right. Wait, I have, I have new outfits? What the hell? I'm just gonna go with the original for now.
Alright, so where am I going? Oh, this is the hotel that John Donovan is staying at. Damn, this is a tiny parking spot. Alright, close enough. about setting up a tax center. The key to running a successful black bag operation is plausible deniability. Which is why I stole all this shit from the FBI. Things go tits up, those chicken dicks can deal with the fallout. Glad to see you haven't lost your touch. <laughs> if there's one thing I'm good at... Okay, there's a song playing in the background, but I don't think it... Hoover's Ferry Brigade. And while you were convalescing, I did some digging around. Wanted to see if there are any local assets for you to recruit. I came up with three possibilities. God damn it, dude! This game, bro. My priority is getting the hollow out. Du, du, du. Figured as much. Patience. Well, I thought they fell apart after I put Baca down. Lucky for us, they're back up, and they're none too pleased that Sal gave Delray Hollow to the Dixie Mafia. Dixie Mafia. Georgie's idea. He's got him running heroin, trying to get everybody hooked. Motherfucker. I'll be damned if I let those coon asses destroy everything that Sammy built up. Who replaced Baca? Unknown. Managed to keep his identity a secret. Unknown? Even to John Donovan? Never thought I'd see the day. Well, I can't help it if I was born pigmentally challenged. So, you telling me my only option is to tail one of these Haitians? Hope he leads me back to the mysterious leader? Hey, it's better than no options. And once you've ingratiated yourself with them, you come see me. I'm finishing something up you're gonna want to see. See, this, the part of the game that makes me mad more than anything is when I can't prevent something. Like, I'll turn the volume off for the game, and then it's like, okay, is the music gonna stop? Like, what? If the music volume, if I turn that off, it should automatically be off. But with the game volume, it just magically goes on. So I have to turn the game volume and the music volume off. It's like, why? That doesn't make sense. I'm just gonna chill on this bench for right now. James L. Ray back now, this week. How you doing? Still mm -hmm. amazes me they expect us to believe it was one man who did in Dr. King. It's too easy. Too pat. Let's say he was the one who shot Dr. King. Just him and no one else. What if it's really that easy to strike down a great man like Dr. King, President Kennedy, Brother Malcolm? Then nothing in this country will ever change. Now you struggle and you sweat and someone can take it all away just like that. Let's keep going. Looking good, chocolate pudding. Maybe you can give me a taste later on. <laughs> you go to hell. I'm just gonna walk in. If that don't work, huh? I believe he's lost. Duh, he's coming this way. We all want Dixie out of the hollow. Give me your boss and I'll make it happen. Fuck. Shit. Get to the voodoo shop. You'll find the boss there. 
Sorry about the headache, brother. Okay, I don't think that was. Wait, so you don't get go after this guy? You kill this guy and you just knock out that one? Alrighty then. I like how one of the ladies is like, I'm moving. Alright. Go to the Pierced Heart Voodoo Shop. Alrighty. So. Who is now the leader? Maybe I can just go in the garage right here, park the car. You know what? I don't know. I don't know if they have a weapon. No one's even in here. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll just wait. Coffee? Of course it's Cassandra. You pulled back at the Haitian camp. Lieutenant Baca was holding you prisoner. And I yelled, you are dead. It appears we both full of surprises. Certainly does. <laughs> what can I do for you, Lincoln Clay? I want you to help me kill Sal Marcano. I see. A few months ago, you was trying to kill me. Now you break in here and expect me to trust you? Now that Marcano's... Okay. That's bullshit because he didn't. He went after Baca. Totally different person, but okay, Cassandra. It's only a matter of time till they come for you. And when they do, they'll kill everyone standing in their way. Lest I hitch my horse to your wagon, so to speak. I'll see to it that you get the hollow. After that, depends on how things shake out. Do you know why Sammy and I were at war? On account of you going after the lottery? Please. Just because you don't want to face some uncomfortable truths ain't a reason to act naive. Sammy and I were fighting because the people in Dahala deserve better than a two-faced old man who handed out cans of food whenever the mood hit him. Who always did what Sal Marcana told him to do, even if it pitted him against his own people. He did the best he could. And yet his best didn't amount to much, did it? <laughs> Once I have Dahala... I mean, she is she is right about no the whole th that whole thing right there. You give me access to your muscle, your connections, and a place to hold up from time to time. You can do what you want. Marcana replaced Sammy with a man named Richie Doucette. Do you know of him? Assume he's Dixie Mafia. He's a wooster. Likes to kidnap black teenagers and take them out to the bayou. After starving them for a few days, he cuts them loose, tells them to run. Sometimes he brings out the dogs, you know, for old time's sake. What's a rooster? I don't know what that is. That's how he killed my sister. I don't trust Cassandra. This is all I have left. How do 
Ottawa fun. It's still dangerous around here for him, so he stays on the move. But his men operate out of the community church in the old theater, Pearl, as it used to be called. It was named after Sammy's wife. I'm taking it down first. One of my men have been staking it out. Seeing what he can learn about how it's being run, you should talk to him and see what he knows. Once I deal with it, I'll see about the church. Oh, I get what? Okay, so Cassandra basically offers me. Alright, I'm good. Talk to the voice. Alright guys, I'm going to end part one of Mafia right here. So I will see you guys in the next one. Gotta edit this video. And hope for the best. Hopefully I don't get copyright. See you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Peace out.